cozy friends welcome or welcome back to the cozy hermit channel if you're new here my name is lynn and if you have been here in last week's video then you know that i uh, was actually looking for some autumn stuff for in my home some decorations then i at first ended up not buying anything but then later at the end of the video i actually placed an order online and i am going to pick it up today so that's what we're gonna do and i also might like pop into the shop for a bit and buy something which i didn't buy and didn't order and i am regretting my choice so i'm probably going to get that too but uh, most of all i'm just going to go for a walk going to have like a bit of a cozy time in the city again and once i have picked up the package we'll go back home and i'll do a little unboxing and then we are definitely going to decorate my home for autumn because uh, september is here and we're very excited so um yeah i hope you're all doing well and i hope that you're also looking forward to autumn as well and um well thank you so much for being here anyway let's not waste any more time and go into the city a little different than all the rest a quite old-fashioned wear a hat sometimes play chess and when i'm out i'm looking for that vintage flame So hey friends and we're back home so now it is time for the great unboxing and I'm very excited so let's go and take a look okay let's go protection okay so these are these cinnamon sticks oh wait okay this is like cinnamon candy isn't it uh oh so um actually if you were here in last week's video, but in case you're not, um, I actually wanted to have cinnamon sticks, like your usual cinnamon sticks to make um, orange and cinnamon tea. But um, I thought these were the ones I meant, but apparently I haven't paid attention online because these is, this is candy. This is cinnamon candy, which is delicious, but I can't use it for tea. But these are actually like perfect autumn candy so um no regrets here so i'm definitely going to enjoy them but um guess i'll have to keep looking for actual cinnamon sticks to make tea so anyways the search will continue but um these will not go to waste definitely not <laughs> now then on to the autumn decorations i've got these really cute lights they're like um you know kind of like those plants or flowers you've got during autumn they are shaped like those um they're really cute I show them properly um, once I'm going to put them up. So I saw on the internet that once they are on, they really spread this really beautiful orange glow, which is perfect for autumn. So I'm very excited for these. And I've got these little ones, like some kind of like garden gnomes, but you can put them up inside. And I've got these little legs that are going to dangle over a shelf or wherever you're going to put them up and they're so cute look at this little autumn leaf right here oh it's so cute i actually got like similar uh, like gnomes for christmas as well um they're so cute so i love them <laughs> and one isn't enough and i really needed this one because this one has all of these earthy tones and it has a little sunflower on its head and um it is so cute and it's holding a little pumpkin i think this one's my favorite definitely it is so cute <laughs> look at those little legs and last but not least 
I've got these little adorable ones. They are tiny mushrooms in different colors. I'll show them. These are the red ones. And they're so cute. And the green one. It's so pretty. And finally, also got a nice orange one. It is so, so cute. So I've got six of them. And actually want to put them up over our, like we've got like a fake fireplace in my living room. Um, they're going to look so cute on there. So I'm really excited for that. So that is what I ordered online. But like I said, I went back to the shop because I wanted to have something else as well, which I didn't get the last time. You've already seen what I've got, but let's unbox it anyway. So the woman at the shop wrapped it up real nicely for me so I could bring it home with me safely. So this is part one. And then part two, which makes it so adorable. It's little mushroom head, which is far heavier than the actual mug, by the way. But I think that's pretty great because this way you know for sure that it, it can like slide off easily. Oh, just look how cute it is. <laughs> so I'm so incredibly excited for this mug because I have wanted a mushroom mug like this for a couple of years because I saw people collecting them all over the internet and um I think it just looks so incredibly cute and it's also like super duper handy because this way I can keep my tea warm whenever I'm like talking in front of the camera because my tea tends to cool off a lot when I do that. And um, actually it keeps my tea safe from my cat Natsuki as well who wants to like drink anything I have and eat anything I have. So this, this way I can actually protect my tea without having to send my cat away. It's a small things in life, isn't it? I actually already knew I wanted this one when I went uh, to the city in last week's video. But I I don't know, I was trying to be like super duper logic that day. And I was like, well, you've got a tea mug. You don't need another mug. You don't need a mushroom shaped mug. But the truth is I actually do need it because it is so cute and I love mushrooms. I love thing, all things autumn. And I actually see myself using this one, not just during the autumn months, but probably at least all the way through winter. Um, because I love mushrooms all year round, so I don't really care about that. Can't wait to use this one. It's going to make, you know, my everyday life cozier. It's all part of romanticizing your everyday life, I think. So, um, like I said, it's the little things. Anyway, um, that was today. So, uh, started off very relaxed, then it got a little bit hectic in the city. It's like the weekend, so it, uh, it tends to get very busy in the city. Not a huge fan of that, but it was okay. It was okay, and uh, the weather was actually really nice, so it had a great walk. Anyway, I am going to stop filming for today. Probably going to play some Fields of Mystery later um, off screen, but we'll play that more on the channel as well. Um, anyway, now it is actually time to start decorating for autumn. Very excited for that. So that is one of the next things we'll be doing in this video. So stay tuned. Just let me know what kinds of decorations are your like your favorite autumn decorations. Just let me know in the comments down below. And um, I'll see you guys in a bit.
Hey cozy friends and welcome to like the last warm day. So it is still like 26 degrees Celsius today after many many warm days at the moment and it's like super humid. I actually don't really like warm days during this time of year because it gets so like the humidity is just off the charts. Um, but as of tomorrow it is supposed to become like a bit cooler and a bit more like autumn so i'm really excited for that also i just wanted to end this video with telling you that i have finished two books i finished reading two books this week um of course if you've been following me for a bit you know that i have been reading welcome to the hyundam dong bookshop lately absolutely love this book so i was already like really enthusiastic after like reading the first half of only the first chapter absolutely loved it already and i just i grew to love this book even more as i continued reading it it is just so such a heartwarming story so if you haven't like been here yet while i started reading this book i'll tell you real shortly what it is about it is about a woman who got like a burnout and she gave up her career she divorced her husband and then she decided to realize her lifelong dream which is opening a bookshop in seoul so she does just that and as she like learns how to run an actual bookshop you actually like learn about her struggles in life as well and also about the just the everyday struggles of the people who are just coming into the bookshop and saw her life and uh like you see this really beautiful and at first unlikely friendships like blossoming to life in this book it is written so well so the book is like very low-key like not a whole lot happens but it is just written in such a way that you just feel so close to each and every character and you really just understand what they're where they're coming from and why they are struggling with certain things in their life and i think there are like many things that you might recognize um from their own struggles in the struggles of these characters which makes them very relatable and that's all written in such a warm and uplifting way so the end of the book just left me feeling really happy and just with a really warm and contented feeling inside so i can only recommend welcome to the human non bookshop if you are looking for like a really cozy yet thought provoking but uplifting read so it is absolutely perfect absolutely love it and um this is like the first book of his author and i can already say that uh when she releases a second book and uh well the story speaks to me again i will definitely read it also there is one little quote uh, near the end of the book which i really really loved and i just really wanted to share it a life surrounded by good people is a successful life it might not be success as defined by society but thanks to the people around you each day is a successful day so that's what i mean by thought provoking and i just absolutely loved it because it is so true like when you think like of the way society thinks of success it's like having a really good job and earning a lot of money and just go really great and big holiday seeing all the big places in the world i don't know um to me they're just when i think of like what what a success defined by society is like a whole lot of pressure to do things i don't even feel like doing like that actually don't even feel good to me because i'm like a total homebody i'm a hermit i like to stay at home i like to live a very simple low-key life actually and um well for me my life is definitely a success thanks to the people who are around me i really love being with my family and very close to them so that is why this quote really really spoke to me and also i was thinking like even if you don't have for some reason don't have people around you um that like make your life a success then i'm just like I uh, always like to think of being the version of yourself you really want to be, like being your own best friend. And I think that, you know, being really good company for yourself actually can make your life successful as well. Because then you are surrounded by you and you are awesome, right? So um, that is just a wonderful quote I really wanted to share from this book. Then there is another book which was an ebook I downloaded for free, like at the start of this summer. And I didn't get around to read it and I just wanted to read like one of my summary books before summer really came to an end. So I read this one and it's called Second Chance Summer by Kate Nolan. Uh, this is like the fifth book of his author I've read. I have to say that they're just your basic romantic books. Um, they're very easy to read. They're like really, really fast reads and the stories aren't like really special or complicated at all and this author definitely writes by some kind of formula so you can really just 
predict what is going to happen but sometimes i just really enjoy that and this book um was about a young woman called audrey who was in a terrible car accident a few years ago and uh the doctors actually said that she wouldn't be able to walk ever but she just fought her way back and then managed to walk again so she still has like still suffers from her injuries but she can like function again in everyday life but during that car accident she was like saved and helped through the process by a firefighter whose uh, face you can't remember but you can remember his voice then at the start of this book she goes to like a summer camp for adults and um that's when she suddenly hears that familiar voice of that firefighter and it turns out to be him and he's there on that summer camp as well uh, because his family actually kind of made him go because he used to go there as a child um, but he is like dealing with some PTSD because not so long ago he was like in a terrible accident while trying to do his work while trying to save other people like an accident happens during that mission and then uh, one of his friends just sacrificed himself and another one did too and has ended up in a coma and he just feels really guilty he has like a severe case of survivor's guilt he's really struggling with that but because of meeting audrey he is starting to see like the joy in life again and that is where the story continues from there and um yeah it was an enjoyable read it was a quick read it was really enjoyable but there was another quote in that book as well about just like being happy in everyday life again it just really spoke to me as well so i want to share this one too happily ever after is an unrealistic fantasy life happens people talk about happiness as if it's a static state of being and that is wrong happiness is a mindset no matter what's going on in your life it's a continual choice so that's that's another quote i want to share because it also really spoke to me because i have also learned that you can't like feel super duper happy every single day um but it's also like really a choice so kind of like one of the mistakes i used to make when i was younger was that i really uh let my happiness my just my state of being depend on what was going on around me and how much like success I was having in life in, in like achieving my dreams and you know sometimes there are just periods in life when like nothing happens and maybe like um, when you're doing something creative you feel like nobody's noticing you you feel like invisible and it just that just made me feel really down and just I don't know kind of got me depressed sometimes as well and I just forgot that happiness really is a choice it is a state of being it is a mindset and it is a mindset you choose to have each and every single day and sometimes it's really hard sometimes it's easy but it is definitely a choice it's not like happiness is not something you need to let happen to you it is something you choose and then hold on to like no matter what is going on you find happiness in the little things in the smallest little everyday things and then sometimes really awesome things happen and you feel even happier but you can't like feel super euphoric each and every day that is something i've learned myself and um ever since i've come to realize that is just so helpful so i just love coming across quotes like that in books kind of like just cements that way of thinking i'm like yeah you know that's right that is that is just absolute truth happiness is a choice and i choose to be happy and um well i hope that these quotes just um mean something to you as well or maybe are helpful maybe you just needed to hear them that's why i wanted to share them as we go into the autumn season um because um even though how much i love autumn it can get like a bit gloomy sometimes as well like rainy days cloudy days and it will get colder you might feel a little less energized and then i think just having a really good mindset will really help you to still feel really energetic and happy despite all of that anyway i'm going to pick out my next read soon so i'll talk about that in next week's video i hope that you're all doing well i hope that you are having fun decorating your home for autumn as well if you do just let me know in the comments down below or not maybe you don't like to decorate your home for for autumn just let me know that as well down below who knows um anyway i just hope that you're all doing really well i hope you're all so excited for the autumn season and um i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please consider hitting that like button maybe even subscribe to the cozy hermit channel if you haven't already and until we meet each other again as always stay cozy and stay happy <laughs>